Hello, today we're going to be setting up a free store on the free shop. Um, we'll get started by clicking the start for free button. First thing we're going to do is put in our email address. Um, once you click the register button, you will receive a verification code in your email. Now you're going to enter that verification code here and click submit. And the reason we do this is so that you know you ensure you enter the right address. So let's go ahead and um, enter that address. You can also copy and paste if that's easier for you. Okay. Now that we've been verified, we'll put in some of our contact details, our full name and a mobile number. Next, we'll put in some store details. Um, so in this case, you could enter your business name or your store name. While you're doing that, it will automatically generate a shop address for you, um, something.keyshop.ng. You can also use your custom domain later. You select the category of what you sell and then click Submit. And then great, you're almost done. So let's just put in a few more details and you can launch your store. Here you can add um, some additional store details like your tagline and your store description. You can also upload your store logo here. In this case, we're uploading a QShop logo, but um, obviously it should be your business logo that's uploaded here. Uh, next, um, we will ask for some information just so we can support you better. We want to know if you have any experience selling online, what types of products you're selling. Um, Keyshop supports both physical and digital products and also supports store pickups um, or delivery, depending on what your preferences are. Next, we're going to select a store theme. Now, if you're on a free um, store category, you can only um, use the default theme, but if you have a paid subscription, you can select um, from one of many. Now, one of the really cool things you can do with Keyshop is add products from your social media, either Instagram or Facebook, or upload directly from your device. In this case, we're going to upload from our phone. So let's select some sample images. You can also upload videos. You can upload up to three when you're setting up, um, but free stores select um, up to 15 products. If you're on a paid tier, you can upload an unlimited number of products. So we'll put in our product details, name, description, price, whether or not it's on sale, quantity available, and the type of product it is. And you could always come back and change these later. Um, we'll also add tags, you know, so shoppers on the website can easily find what they're looking for. So you can think of tags almost like categories. And we'll go ahead and do the same for the other two products we've added. Great, now we're going to add a store location and um, also set whether the location is available for customers or buyers to pick up orders from.
next we're going to select how we want to receive payments um, so with QShop today you can receive payments with um, bank transfer providers ASAC flutter wave and stripe and then we'll also go ahead and put in our bank details um, this is where payments will be made to by whatever payment partner we've selected All right, and that's it, you're done. You can review your store and you can go live. All right, now we're taken to our store dashboard, you know, so at a glance we see our orders, you know, revenue, things like that. So once the store is active, We can also set up our shipping rates here and we support weight based and flat rate shipping. Um, we're going to have integrated shipping with um, multiple shipping providers um, very soon. And you really can define rates for um, any country, um, collection of countries, states, local government areas. Um, you could do it by weights. Um, you could also decide to confirm the shipping rate for your order, um, depending on the type of store you've set up. So you can also view your store and the way you would do that would be to click the copy icon right by your store URL, your store address, and then paste that in a new window. And then you see what visitors to your store um, see. So these are all the products we've loaded earlier, store logo, if we had multiple currencies, we'd be able to toggle that at the top. Shoppers can add to cart and um, proceed to check out. If you have any questions about the setup, um, please ask them in the comments below or send us an email at hello at Thank you.